With command, you know, it's often said that those with command confront in order to create clarity. How do you, we both have that one. How, how do you manage that? Um, you know, that's another one <laughs> that was in my top five since I was 16. I got to tell you, having command when you're 16, you know this, it's difficult. <laughs> it's really difficult. People have described me as having sharp elbows. In fact, I think at one point when I was younger, I would say other people might appear to you if you were to describe them as a shape, like a circular. I'm a square. <laughs> I have sharp edges, so <laughs> watch out. Um, and that worked for a period of time until it didn't. <laughs> like I said, crossing over from being like an individual contributor at work into being a leader really, really forced me to reconsider how I approach command and what I do with it and how to be really intentional with it. So uh, when I think about command, I think of it as courage. And uh, I have a lot of courage to do things that others might not be as willing to do. So when it comes to making tough decisions, I have a lot of courage to make tough and difficult decisions, weighing all of the inputs, and then leading through that and communicating uh, through that. So the process that I use, even though my command is present, uh, it's not necessarily always so in your face, like I'm telling you, here's what we're going to do, so much as I'm designing a process that helps people get there with me. And, uh, and by the time we get there together, then we as a collective are going to execute this change that otherwise might have seemed scary. Uh, but I use it to instigate the change and help others come along with me on the process now versus before, like I said, sharp edges, more of a steamroller approach. <laughs> Sometimes I still have to do that here and there, but I do it now with intention and purpose versus uh, before it was more, uh, <laughs> more, I don't know, it was just spontaneous. 